Wade Heineman, I am at home today. It is uh, July 11th, 2021. As you can see, I adapted my paper here. Um, and it says uh, 7, 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. Fog zap one. One half mile north of Fairbank, Iowa on V68. Been home all day by myself and all night last night. Didn't do anything with my hair, and which is normal. I the only thing I do is put water in it. So, you see, that's my normal my uh, my actual hair. I'm not doing anything with it. Um, here is uh, here's my old paper. If after a while it wears off at the top, obviously uh, taking it on and off with just this here. Uh, they wear out, but that's my previous paper. I should try to change them more often. It starts to get illegible there. But uh, here's my paper from the other night, uh, or last night. Been home last night and today all by my, myself, as usual. Just documenting. There's my license plates that quilt again made by my ex fiance uh, 2006 to 2013 is when I dated her she's white Jen she's 10 years younger than me so when we met I was 35 and she was 25 exactly so there's that here is my my shirt that I wear a lot for identity. Again, housing inspector. Housing inspector. And on the back, it's a fire department. Because when I was uh, with them in 1997 to 2000 in Cedar Falls, they went from Cedar Falls Fire to Cedar Falls Public Safety, and then back again to Cedar Falls Fire while I was there, and now they're back to Public Safety again. But so that's that. Here's my hand. It's hard to get it at this angle. It can't. I can't get it fully outstretched at this angle. I have to have it on a table or something. But you can see it's ten and a half, ten point seven five inches. Um. There's the sunroof that I put my hand out the window. Again, this means I am Wade Allen Heineman. I wrote Space Interaction Theory. I don't know who the frauds are. But uh, because they staged so many lies, I want to let people know where I am when I'm driving around. That's why I do that. Again, that. And I just changed the oil in my Murano as you can see here I had it jacked up changed the oil so that's what that is there's the front yard these pants these jeans I cut because as you can see these are not military issue plug brand is what they're called Size 33, I wear a size 36 now, sometimes 38. So I thought maybe at some point I would get down to a size 34, 33 again, but uh, obviously I'm not going to probably. So I may or may not, but but I, don't, I haven't in since this. These are from early 2000s when I was in Dubuque. That's when I had these jeans early 2000s that's what all of these clothes are here these are from when i was in debut a pair of jeans a pair of shorts used to wear these kind of khaki shorts a lot these are a pair from cedar falls fire 
more from Cedar Falls Fire Department. I should probably just give bring those back because I have no use for them. They didn't ask for them back at the time. Uh, some jeans. Some more jeans, some jean shorts. More pants from Cedar Falls Fire. More pants from Cedar Falls Fire Department. Uh, a couple pairs of corduroy pants I wore in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. Corduroy pants. Yep. Uh, Beavis and Butthead shirt. I was uh, into those, them then. But you have to remember, Paul Duratch uh, was into uh, into uh, comics and uh, cartoons. That's the uh, one of the main physicists um, for uh, very tiny things. Sweatshirt. I rarely wore that. That's just the tank top. Has a dragon on it or something. Another pair of jeans. A pair of khaki shorts. Chaps brand. I just got what was on sale usually. Rarely wore this. This is a Nautica. Nautica sweater. Rarely wore this one because I like the plain ones better. This one has stripes on the shoulders. Wore this one a lot. I think I was wearing this when I met a girl named Jen when I was working in Dubuque and then I commuted to uh, University of Northern Iowa for a class in uh, 2000 and, 2001. Wore that shirt a lot. I believe she lives in the Cedar Rapids area now. A pair of light colored pants. Nautica. I like the Nautica the way they fit usually fit me well um this is cheap i rarely wore this but i have i had worn it some of this stuff is from my mother gave to me but uh, here's a shirt or a sweater i did wear this one some in the early 2000s Sturgis Falls when I ran half marathon. Let's see what year is this? I ran it twice. 2002. 2002 ran the half marathon. Sturgis Falls, Cedar Falls, Iowa. And something for my mother in there. I wore this some rarely. It's a yellow a yellow button-up shirt so that's why where I got these pants out of because I was trying to patch some holes on my pants here I didn't do a very good job I got to get them fixed again but okay these are my golf club my first set of golf clubs in high school my uncle gave us this bag and my brother used it until he bought a new bag. My brother Ryan. These are my clubs. These are all my clubs. Uh, I bought these from, or we bought these from uh, a guy named Bob Bellis in high school. Um, he was a semi-pro. And I bought these at Bob Toski Woods. This is my first set. I had another set in Dubuque, which was stolen in 2004. Um, here's my, this one is, uh, my second rag ride bike. It's a, it's a mountain bike that I put just, uh, street wheels on. Bought it from my brother for 50 bucks. Basically at the time I bought it from him, it was a frame. Cause it had, um, the, uh, pedal had to be replaced. Both the rims and tires had to be replaced. The seat was all shot. So it was, a, it was a frame. I bought that for my brother for $50. And that one I rode in 2007. You can see here. 2007. 
rag rye. Um, this one I bought at an auction, well, pre-auction. Um, the, the, the auction people were going through the guy's house and they advertised some things online. Went down there and they, the guy had a bunch of bike stuff. So I bought this bike and a couple rims. I don't know if that one's not the original rim I bought. That one, I think, is. That's a Bond Traeger. That one I bought on Ragbri because one of my rims went bad. And the spokes were all shot. That is a Trek 7300 aluminum frame. Um, I don't know what the size. I think it's a 24 inch or something like that. They, this stuff I got out of the Ford Expedition I bought in Trail City from a guy, their last name was Gomez, G-O-M-E-Z. Didn't know them, they were on Facebook Marketplace at the time. I've not used fake Facebook Marketplace since. But as you can see, this is the uh, luggage rack that was on the back of it. This was in the back along with uh, a Minions costume. Um, also like uh, multicolored zip ties were in there, neon zip ties. And I didn't get, this. the reason I have this is because the hatch was jammed. And so I left it that way for weeks until I got it unjammed and then I had to take that off. Um, and then I discovered it had multicolored zip ties back there, a Minions costume, um, and then this, this ladder. Um, I figured I might as well keep it um, when I scrapped it out. Also left my IKE, no, I left, I left my plates from the Ford Expedition accidentally in the Expedition. And the IKE 678 plates were stolen. So those are all reported to Fayette County Sheriff's Department. But that was all in the Ford Expedition when I bought it. Um, it also had plates from uh, Oklahoma and Nevada in it, in the back end of it. And I just left those in there, didn't touch them. Um, in case you know something was staged with those, but but I believe the the people still had keys to my Ford Expedition when I had it. So um, it's my Nissan Murano. That's one. Um, so my other stuff. There's that safe that was broken. They broke into that safe and got photos uh, out of there. More photos. My blue bags, they're monogrammed. There's uh, another one of those uh, truck bags that I bought along with this bike over here. That bike and these truck bags were bought at an estate sale in Cedar Rapids or Iowa City area. Um, in 2014 prior to me riding in Ragbri. Um, this is my vehicle. Nobody else's vehicle. And I'll just walk through again to show I'm in the same place as always. There's that. And I still have the back door open here. But that goes to the same place again. There's the camper in the background. My dad's planter. My dad's tractor. View out the back. 7.30 p.m. or whatever it is now. About well, getting close to eight, but that says 7.30 as you can see.
So I'm just trying to prove that none of this stuff's stolen. There's indication about a battery again. Um, don't know what it's about. But usually when there's indications like that, it means they're trying to say I stole something. But they break into the shed. These tires are off the Chevy Suburban that I scrapped for scrap metal price, just like the Ford Expedition uh, to a scrap metal place around Independence, Iowa. And other indications I've been getting recently are about, quote, Candy and Jesse. No connection to anyone named Candy ever. No connection to anyone named Jesse since high school. I kind of dated a girl named Jesse, who, Jessica, who is a doctor now. Um, but I haven't talked to her in over 10 years. Um, and no idea what her, I believe she lives east of here. But uh, no idea what her or her husband are doing. Here's out front. There's me from the side. I know I, I know Facebook prompts me about the a picture with me looking like this with my yellow F-150 before I sold, it was sold at an insurance auction in uh, 2020. But there's my the mobile home I used to live in. Get a good picture of that. All my photos are me of me have always ever been of me. There is no one else in my photos that I take that I post online. It's just myself. Um, the selfies and the videos, they're all just myself. My fog zap one. YouTube, it's, I don't think I put that on here. Fog Zap One YouTube. And again, to go this way. There is the silver Chevy Venture. There again. And I'm kind of between in weight right now I gained about five pounds probably in the last four days and then I'll probably lose five pounds again that's just the way I do I've always been that way but I don't think people have to eat the same amount every day you know I'm just not that's not you know our bodies didn't evolve that way our bodies didn't uh, always eat three meals a day or uh, even one meal a day a lot of times, probably in the past. So, so that's how I eat. That's why I gain and lose weight. You can see the light is not on right now because I'm recording this video. I don't turn the light on. I shut the power off when I record. And as you can see, this is another one of those Trek bags. Loris 2002 Advanced Poetry writing. You can see it's on Loris uh, letterhead. To me, Wade Heineman, 1809 W Avenue, Fairbank, Iowa. My transcript from you and I.
This should be a student. And as you can see on there, there is astronomy. Which I gotta be in. E plus or whatever it was. B. Astronomy. In. 1992. First certificate. Heinemann. Oh, and then again, male. 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 Okay. So, uh, my astronomy folder. 1992 and uh, there's a coloring book uh, page in there because Sarah Kareem colored a, colored a coloring book page for me that and Bill Polly comments in pencil my poem from 2002 that's Bill Polly's writing any of Bill Polly students will recognize that but that poem Shows what I was thinking about back then already as far as my space interaction theory Pause it on that read it it uh, Very much is along the lines of my space interaction theory ideas. I Don't know who the frauds are stealing them. I know they are been stealing my ideas, but I don't know who they are So never any connection to a, a candy um the woman I dated it just briefly in 2006 had a daughter named Candace, who would be an adult now, and uh, her name was Anshalita, and she was the last African American woman I dated, last African American person I had any connection to, um, and uh, I do not know what she's up to since 2006, 2007. Um, there was indications about uh, an abortion. She, at, when I was breaking with her, up with her on the phone, she claimed to, uh, she was pregnant and I didn't believe her. And then she said immediately, well, I'm going to get an abortion anyway. And I said, well, do you need help with that? And she immediately said, no, I don't want any help with that. So I didn't believe her that she was and... I also felt she was cheating on me with a guy in her apartment complex. We only dated three months, so I didn't, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be, I don't know, it wasn't that exclusive to me. It didn't seem to me it was that exclusive of a dating thing. But at that point, you know, it was three months, so it was getting to that point. Um, and then I broke up with her on the phone and she claimed she was pregnant, but I didn't believe her. There's indications I had something to do with an abortion. I've never had anything to do with an abortion. Um, I've never had anything to do with, uh, you know, trying, uh, coercing someone to get an abortion. Uh, you know, I've never been involved in any of that. So whatever that is, uh, it's made up. So, and as far as I know, I only have one child. Uh, born in 1995, male, white, named Austin, with a white mother. She has some Native American ancestry, but her skin is very white. And um, so, as far as, uh, and I haven't seen him since 1997. I do not know what he's doing at all since high school, which had been like seven years ago. He's 20, well, he's 26, so eight years ago, seven, eight years ago now, or eight or nine years ago. I don't know. I can't remember what year he graduated right now because I never had a connection with him because his mother wouldn't let me see him 
uh, when she was dating someone or when she was married. She tried to get me to give up my parental rights many times. I did not. I would not. And I ended up paying about 40000 in child support, which I'm still paying a very a small amount of back child support, making small payments on it. Um, despite I never got to see him or got to be involved in his life. So there's that. Um, so I showed all that stuff just to show what it is because I get an indication about those uh, camel shorts. I was never in the military. Those are not military issue shorts as I showed before. They're way too small for me to fit into the 33s. And I haven't been able to fit into a 33 since I was 29 or 30, probably. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was in my th early 30s. Maybe I wore these in my early 30s, too. But um, I don't think I wore them all that much. But as you can see, these are not military issued. And they're made in China. Made in China plug brand they're mine I don't know who's claiming these pants I cut them up to patch these because I don't think I'll ever fit into them again so and there's my hand 10.75 inches long from the 